if you don't live in the South, a lot of people be like, damn, I can't believe Esau. But nah, nah, nah. Nah, we believe it because that's how that's how they roll down right. here. They're very, very bold. Right. They got the American flags. They got the Confederate flags outside, here, especially in Alabama. Right. It's not surprising at all. It's not surprising. For thy violence. For thy what? Thy violence. Because you always want to start something with the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Shame shall cover thee. Shame shall cover thee, Esau. Come on. And thou shall be cut off. And that shall be what? Cut off. Cut off, Reed. Forever. How long? Forever. How long? Forever. Topic of the day. Let's pull it up. Why is there so much talk about a race war? Right. Hey, so uh, the viewers out there, if y'all want to call in, I kind of want to spend about 30 minutes on this. If y'all want to call in and chat it up, chat chat Bring with on. us today regarding the topic. Be much appreciated. We'd like to hear your input. So it says, why is there so much talk about a race war? Because racial tensions aren't all high. That's right. 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 All right. Oh, yeah. Let's give it up to the thumbnail team. That's right. All praises. All praises. So you see, you see Jake, mighty Jacob on the right. You see Esau on the left. All right. You see a little action, the rocks, the sparks, dope image right there. So shout out to y'all, man, putting in great works. So I want you to pull up that first video, please. Pull up that first video with the, uh, I think it's Comedy Hype or something like that. Talking about the rest that were made. I like this video uh, because of the, uh, the lingo they use. Watch this. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. It looks like the charges from the Alabama Riverfront brawl are finally rolling out. And according to the state's police department, three people have been charged in connection to the melee that happened on Saturday, August 5th in Montgomery. There are multiple videos that show a black riverboat employee being attacked by a group of whites. Thankfully, it didn't take long for other black people to hop in and assist. And you know According to a right. press conference on Tuesday, Montgomery Police Chief Daryl Albert said 13 people were taken into custody the day of the brawl for questioning. Wow. All were released pending further investigation. The same site also reported that warrants have been issued against three white thugs hey, that were on the private Hey, team. I love that thing. Right that's there. right. Give that sister oh, a round of applause. Right. Round of applause. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we get to tell the news about from our narrative That's and right. call it like it is. Right. The white man is the true thug on the earth. Come on That's now. Right. What do they do? They go to every land and rob people, right, and right. kill people. That's what a thug, that's what a goon do. Right. All right, so I, I just wanted to play that. But now I want to go to the clip. We're going to give our commentary. Officers, get ready to chime in, give our commentary. And if you want to share your opinions or your thought or your perspective, give us a call as well. Uh, make sure that the lower third's up so they can give us a call. All right, so let's play this, uh, let's play the video. No disclaimers needed. So right here, stop. Just to give you some background, so this is a security guard at the, at the dock. Right. So they give boat tours. This is the uh, Montgomery Riverfront. They give boat tours, and they actually have a large vessel. So you have some Edomites. They pull up in their own boat. And they're mad because he's doing his job. All right? So I just want y'all to understand, this. No, Jake did not start this thing right here. Wow. All right? We were not responsible. They came up on the brother. They rolled up, and this is how they decided to behave. So roll it, uh, run it back again from the beginning, please. <clears throat> hey, Jake's so dramatic. <laughs> So stop now. You see a bunch of Edomites now. They now they jumping one Jake. All right. So obviously they, th you know, this is their land. They think they can get away with it. Right. Officers, jump in when you feel the feel the, feel yeah, the urge. I, uh, Cap, I'm glad you said that because when I'm looking at this footage here, it kind of takes you back. When you look at Alabama, maybe 30, 40, 50 years ago, you would have saw an image like this. But that black man would be put being put to death. Right, 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 right. right. None of his people would have came Lord to save him. Lord have mercy. So when I saw it initially, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, 
I had a little lump in my throat. I was like, my people came through to help they brought all praise. Okay, okay, all praise for clearing that up. And you know because that. I was a little worried when you said Wait that. So he had a lump in his throat. <laughs> oh, okay, he was about to cry. Okay, all right, just keep it going. Hey, let me get um, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Because like what um, Officer just brought out, back in the days they used to do this and get away with it. And now our people are starting to get tired of it. Now we, we, we realize that together we're strong. Read right. that. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. And please believe, the other nations know they can't beat us in no one-on-one. -on -one. Even though we're not pushing war. Right. We're, we're not pushing war, but they know they can't beat us in no one-on-one. -on -one. They didn't want us in their sports because they knew we would beat them in that. But just go ahead and read that. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. Read. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Us getting beat up and jumped on and, and them getting away scot-free, that's ha been happening since we've right. been here. People are getting tired of seeing that. And now the internet making the well, you can you you can see what's going on and they can't get away with it no more. They can't mm -hmm. just say, you know, the police whatever on the police report and, and that's it. No, you see it now. Read. And a gift destroyeth the heart. But the Bible says oppression maketh the wise man mad. When you you're gonna get fed up at some point of watching your people getting destroyed. Hey, and you know, the people who don't live in the South, uh Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, uh, Tennessee, if you don't live in the South, a lot of people be like, damn, I can't believe Esau, but nah, nah, nah. Nah, we believe it, because that's how that's how they roll down right. here. They're very, very bold. That's right. They got the American flags, they got their Confederate flags outside, and they're oh, very yeah. bold with it. All right, so this type of behavior, especially in Alabama, right. is not surprising at all. It's right. not surprising. Uh, uh, no. Y'all have something before we go back to the video? Yes, sir. Uh, give me the book of uh, Ezekiel. Give me the book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 5. Because this is showing exactly the brother was just doing his job. Right. They could have easily handled that with words and settled it. But this is why that took place. Watch this. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 35 and verse 5. Read. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. This so-called white man, Esau, according to the Bible, has a perpetual hatred for our people. Read. Right. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel. Just like the officer was going over back in the days, what? They would shed the blood of the children of Israel in situations like this. Read. By the force of the sword. Uh-huh. In the time of their calamity. Uh-huh. In the time that their iniquity had an end. Because what? This situation right here, it does show you that what? Our people can come together when they see what? They brother getting... What, going through, uh, like we read in uh, uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. So this is why this happened, because uh, Esau has a perpetual hatred towards us. Hey. Thugs. Right, uh, gives, yeah, exactly. Uh, we got a call. We'll take a quick call. Shalom, caller. What's your question or your comment? Shalom, uh, Captain and officers. Uh, I just had a comment uh, off the video that y'all just played. Mm-hmm. I thought it was great that you and all our people finally, you know, stood up because I watched the older gentleman make a video. Oh, I'll try to introduce myself. I do apologize. Uh, I'm Sister Jay Hudaya from Detroit, Michigan. Okay, shouts out to Detroit. All praises. Shalom, mom says. So I was saying I watched the older gentleman. He brought out all the atrocities of our people mm -hmm. uh, or what they went through, and he was showing videos of like the hanging school and like the you know us being lynched and hanged and Emmett Till and Breonna Taylor and everything and they were saying how our people wasn't there for them so when they saw this brother getting attacked down there they like we got to do something we didn't do mm -hmm. nothing back then but we're going to stand up for the people our people in the future so I watched uh it's the older gentleman they did a commentary on the video showing how that our, our people are not afraid no more to right. stand up to Esau. Right, right. It's so a I different generation. I, all right. no, I agree with you 100%. Sis. Thank you for calling in. No, and, and, that, and that's putting uh, fear in the nations. What's that um, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 14, I believe? Let me hear that, please. Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 14. Make sure that's right. No? Oh, yes, it is. It is correct. Now, 
Am I saying that uh, the brothers fighting together is in order? No, but I, I want to show you something. Watch this. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8 and verse 14. Come on. I shall set the people in order. So the people in order, this is talking about we're going to be set in order by God's commandments. This is us coming together in unity. We'll take another call. Just put it on hold real quick. Come on. And the nations shall be subject unto me. Right. So when they see that, when they see black unity in any form, they get nervous because they understand when we unify, they have to serve us. That's, that's, that's right. what they understand in their spirit. That's Come right. on. Horrible tyrants. Horrible Sh tyrants is people like who? President Biden. Horrible tyrants are these wicked leaders, these right. heathen leaders. Come on. Horrible tyrants shall be afraid. They shall be what? Afraid. Come on. When they do but hear of me. When they do but hear of, of, of the most high. So that's the thing about it. When white people see us gathered together, it puts a lot of fear in them because we've been docile and sleep for so long. Now they're realizing that the, the crack is wearing off. Right. All right? That Willie Lynch is wearing off. Right. And we getting our courage not from anything else but the spirit of the Lord. That's because right. Because when you read in Joel, the second chapter, it said that he will pour out a spirit upon all flesh. And now who's that all flesh? The children of Israel. That's, That's right. right. All right? That's hey, Shalom, call it. What's your question or your comment? Hey, Shalom, most high Christ bless. Sorry, um, yes, sir. Um, I'm a police officer here in Alabama. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm a deputy. I, I mainly deal with missing and exploited children. Yes, sir. But um, over in Montgomery, as we all know, that is one of the original slave ports right. for mm -hmm. our people. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's what we came through. Mm -hmm. They have a legacy museum. That museum even has cells that our people were caged in during this during that period. Yes, sir. Um, so, of course, you know, you have all these Edomites there, and they feel like they're entitled. Donald Trump just left the rally, that, I believe, within a couple of hours of that, of that happening. Mm. So they're already pumped up. Gassed up, yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they amped up as high as, they, as it can be. Right. And the brothers did, brothers did nothing wrong because federal law says if you witness anybody being attacked, it can be, if, it's, if, it's, if it can result in serious bodily injury mm -hmm. or death, you can defend that person by any means necessary. So those brothers did everything correct that they should have done. All praise to the most. Hey, and I, and I, I really do. I know we appreciate your insight for being a law um, and, for, for, and it, being in law enforcement yourself. So all praise to the most, my brother. Thank you for uh, calling That's in today. Right. Uh, we got another caller. Okay, they hung up. Hey, could y'all? Uh, we're gonna go back to the video, but could you get that article uh, going into uh, this being a slave port, please? Pull that article up for us. I want to read a little bit of that and go back to the video. All right, read that. Alabama brawl turned spotlight on Montgomery's racial history. Scroll down. Okay. Viral video of a chaotic brawl along Montgomery, Alabama's riverfront has renewed national conversation about racial tensions in America. A fight between a group of white boaters and a black co-captain of a riverboat escalated into a melee Saturday when a group of bystanders joined the fray. On Tuesday, Montgomery, Alabama, Police Chief Daryl Albert said arrest warrants have been issued for three men involved in the altercation. Scroll down a little bit for me, please. Uh, keep going. Okay, I'm sorry. Scroll back up. All right, read that. But that the news hasn't stopped some from speculating about the motivations behind a fight that appeared bitterly divided along racial lines. Come on. In a sworn statement to police, a witness alleged that a racial slur was used before the brawl began. That's of no surprise to us. We know right. that. All right, come on. And, and they think it's not racially. Come on. Obviously, this is racially motivated. Right. All right, come on. On social media, images from the brawl quickly be became a meme as some viewers praised the black bystanders who rushed and swam to the co-captain's defense. But jokes and memes aside, historians have noted that the altercation has once again placed Montgomery at the center of conversation around race. Here's a look at Montgomery's storied racial history. Read that. Montgomery played a central role in the slave trade. Mm -hmm. In downtown wow. Montgomery, not far from where the brawl took place, a historic marker co commemorates the city's roles in the transatlantic slave trade. Joshua D. Rothman, a historian and chair of the Department of History at the University of Alabama, told CNN the state played a substantial role in the domestic slave trade until the Civil War. Hey, real quick, we got another caller. Uh, we'll take this call. Hey, Shalom caller, what's your question or your comment? In the domestic place. Oh, hi, Shalom. Hey, Shalom, sis. Real quick, we got another I just have a quick comment about um, um, Tony Braxton and Sherry Shepard. 
Sherry, um, Sherry was on the view, and she talked about she was the devout Jehovah Witness, and um, she would go to Kingdom Hall and would go partying and had several abortions. Mm. And so did Tony Braxton talk wow. about her lifestyle of promiscuity, even though her father's a pastor. Tony Braxton's father's a pastor, and Tony Braxton has a child that has autism. And she told she spoke to People Magazine how she believes that her son has autism because she had an abortion. So I don't think, you know, black women should listen to either Sherry or Tony Braxton because they both are very promiscuous, even though they're in middle age. Hey, all praise for the most. I, I agree with you 100%. Uh, we got another call. Yeah, you take it. Hey, Shalom Caller, what's your question or your comment? Hello? Hey, Shalom Caller, what's your question or your comment? Well, um, I said in the comments, um, they forgot about the sisters, too. They got to represent the sisters, okay? They jumped in eventually when they couldn't deal with the, the you know, the white girl, because I guess they want to hit on, you know, the white girl. So the girls, the, you know, the females, the black sisters came in, and they, they did their thing, too. Okay. So let's give hey, them all respect. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hey, hey, do, do you, um, do you um, accept that the black man is over you, sis? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, I always have been. I always greet. I grew up that way. Okay, so if a black man's getting praised, don't you think the black woman is already getting praised as well? Does it does it have to be mentioned? Because the black man's the leader, right? Well, I understand, but you know what? It's it's about time that we that we all step up because you know a lot of women they will just stand there and just watch things things happen as well. Well, that's what we, that's what they're supposed to do. The man's supposed to be the provider, the protector. Behind. That's behind a right. good man, a good woman. So you yeah, know a, what? We but a good woman, she'll be womanly. Right? She won't brawl. Mm -hmm. That's right. A woman, she'll be in her place and let the man do his job. Right? Yeah. Yeah, so let's give it up for these black men. IT, come on. That's, That's right. right. Let's give it up for these black men. All praise to the most high. That's All right, let's go back to the video, please. Thank you for calling, sis. I'm sorry, you know feminism <laughs> coming up on this show. That's, that's right. right. I rebuke that. You know that's right. Play that. <laughs> All right, so now, so now you got one of the brothers ran down. Don't take it off. Take it off. Uh, keep it on the screen. Okay, got one that jumped in. Now the brother that was across, he already jumped in the pool. And he, he's one of his uh, co-workers. That's right. I read a report on him. He's 16 years old. All right, he saw his brother uh, in trouble. He said he went to go help him out. And it's just, it's just beautiful. Now, I will say, positive report, I will say what the sisters just said. Normally, our people will see stuff like that and not do nothing. Right. Now, I will take it from that point of view, sis, all right? Because, you know, you're my sister. I got love for my people, all right? So it was a beautiful right. thing to... Um, See your brother in despair, but the beautiful thing was to see our brothers and sisters be, hey, man, you can't do that to my brother. Right. And what happened, when we used to stick up, what would they do? They would just start killing us, lynching us, tar right. and feather, right. right to the point where we that courage got taken out of us. Right. And that happened on the plantation. That's where the black woman lost faith in her black man. That's right. right. And that's why the sister, she don't know why she said that. That's actually in the Willie Lynch letters. Right. Let's stand up for these black women. It was never like that, sis. Uh, I always talk about Coretta Scott King because if you go uh, when uh, Martin Luther King won the Nobel Peace Prize, you could see the, the proudness on her face because she understood that by her husband doing that, that's both of them winning. Right. It ain't no black man win and black woman. No, it's if the black man win, the whole nation that's win. Right. That's, that's right. right. And that's the mindset that we got to get back in. You have something? Yeah, just that that said. one thing that I wanted to say about that video is Two stereotypes about our people were just destroyed at the same time. Bring it out. Number one, black people don't help each other. They don't come and get each other's back when these types of situations come. Right. The second one, black people can't swim. Bring it right. out. Come on now. <laughs> Destroy them stereotypes about our people. <laughs> hey, let me let me uh now think about how excited our people got about watching us in that battle right there. Now give me a second, Corinthians chapter ten, oh, verse. Man. Three, because imagine if we actually came together in this type of battle. Think about the ramifications of that. Read that. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 10, and verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, 
We do not war after the flesh. So imagine if all of us started keeping God's laws. No more abortions amongst the black community. No more divorces. No That's no more right. whoredoms and sitting in the club and getting pregnant and going. None of this was happening. Among, no more black on black crime. Imagine if we all stuck behind God's Bible. If you're excited about watching us throw hands, imagine us throwing these scriptures and living the with wisdom according to the Bible. Read. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Because we can get excited about this, but we can't beat the white man in war. He, he creates guns. He makes bullets. We're gonna, he, he can turn off our water. So this was good to see us standing up for each other, but imagine when we come to these laws and stand behind each other. Economy, we're going we're gonna to lead in um, economics. We're going to lead in everything. All of the stuff that they set up to destroy us, it'll mean nothing when we're keeping God's laws. Hey, real quick, um, for the sake of time, uh, we don't have that much time left. I'd like to go into a deeper, but it is what it is, okay? Uh, I want to I wanna get like a, you know, end it on a good note. Yes. Give you some good news. That's right. So give me Isaiah 13 real quick. And uh, I want verse 9. Uh, as we see the days approaching, okay, the days is what? The day of the Lord, right? These end times. Uh, we understand that certain things have to take place. And this uh, Montgomery Riverfront brawl is actually a glimpse of that. And we're going to show you that in the scriptures real quick. That's right. Give me that in uh, Isaiah 13 and 9 real quick. Watch this, y'all. The book of Isaiah, chapter 13 and verse 9. Go ahead. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, mm -hmm. cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, Read. to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof so, out of it. So as we see that approaching, this is, this is some of the things that we just saw is going to start happening. We're going to have a sense of of nation again. Right. Could you give me that in Joel 2? I think it's 26 or 20. You know what I want. Pour out a spirit upon all flesh. Give me that one, please. And then I want to come back to Isaiah 13 and jump down to 14. Okay? So, yeah, they don't have it just yet. All right? But you know, in Ezekiel 37, it's a process. All right? Because since the Israelites, and since, I ain't going to lie, since that purple became a problem. That's, that's right. right. You know, black people start thinking different. They may not admit that they watching our videos, but you can see that there's a new spirit on the earth today. Right. That's right. Okay? You because Christ Christianity can't do that. Only the word of God can gather our people. These pe I guarantee you these people have seen us on YouTube. They've That's seen right. us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And we're all about unity. So that spirit of unity, that spirit about race and about nation, it's only coming from the Israelites, the That's purple and gold. Right. That's right. So, hey, just because it wasn't broadcasted like this, it's a new vibration. It's a new spirit on the earth today. And it's coming from the Lord. Come and watch this. The book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 28. Read. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Come on. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Mm -hmm. Your young men shall see visions. Read. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. Read. And I will show wonders in the heavens. Come on. And in the earth. Blood and fire mm -hmm. and pillars of smoke. Going into that destruction, that nuclear fire. Come on. The sun shall be turned into darkness. Read. And the moon into blood. Come on. Before the great and terrible day of the Lord. Come. Read. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. Uh-huh. For in Mount Zion. For where? For in Mount Zion. This is the whosoever. Who lives in Mount Zion? The Israelites. That's, That's right. right. Mount Zion is Jerusalem. Read. And in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. Shall be deliverance. So what are you seeing? You're seeing the people of God wake up little by little. And what, do you, what did you see displayed? You saw unity. That's, right. That's why this is viral because we have not seen unity amongst black people in so long. That's right. But where have you seen it? You've seen it in Chicago. Right. You've seen right. it in Memphis. Right. You've right. seen it in Washington, D.C. Right. Right. You've seen the men of the Lord gather by the hundreds and the thousands and walk down your city block. And the people are starting to take note. That's, That's right. right. All right, let's go back to Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 14. Watch this, y'all. The book of Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 14. Go ahead. And it shall be as the chase road mm -hmm. and as a sheep that no man taketh up. Come on. They shall every man turn to his own people. You see that? As the day of the Lord approaches, it says that what? That they show every man turn to his own people. That's what you see right now. Because why? Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse three. Right? You know what I want? Is it two? Is it second or first? Second. 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 All right. Thank you. 
2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 3. This is why. This is why everybody's starting to turn to their own people, because this is taking place. Rush this. The book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3. Come on. Let no man deceive you by any means. Uh-huh. For that day shall not come. The day of the Lord ain't going to come until what happens? Except there come a falling away first. Read. And that man of sin be revealed. That man of sin is being revealed. We saw by videotape evidence it was the white man that was the instigator. That's, That's right. right. Give me Revelations, what, 12 and 10. Because this is what they normally try to do right here. Uh, you know what I want. The accuser of the brethren. The book of Revelations, chapter 12 and verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength. Come on. And the kingdom of our God. Right, now has come salvation and the kingdom of God. Read. And the power of his Christ. Uh-huh. For the accuser of our brethren. You see that the accuser of our brother, because normally what they would do, oh, he started it. Oh, he's, he, he was the uh, aggressor. Uh-uh. Everybody just saw that you're the damn devil. That's right. Everybody just saw that. Right. Read that part again. That's For the right. accuser of our brethren is cast down. Is what? Cast down. Is cast down. So if they want to call it a race, we'll call it what it is. But we know that y'all going to take this L. That's right. We know that much according to the Bible. Wow. You, know that's you got right. some more on that? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Which accused them before our God uh -huh. day and night. Day and night. That's all they do. That's called the ADL. The SPLC. Right. But God said you a damn lie. That's, That's right. right. Give me Joel 319. We're going to end right here. Better All right? It. Give me Joel chapter 3 and verse 19. Watch this, y'all. <clears throat> the book of Joel chapter 3 and verse 19. Go ahead. Egypt you know shall what? be a desolation. You know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's do Obadiah. That's right. Give me Obadiah chapter 1 verse 10. Bring it Let's right end God. with this one. Watch this. The book of Obadiah, chapter 1 and verse 10. Come on. For thy violence. For thy what? Thy violence. Because you always want to start something with the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. It says, for your violence, here's your judgment, come on. Against thy brother Jacob. Who's Jacob? The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and, Israel, um, and Native Americans. Who are the Israelites? That's we right. are Jacob. Read. That's Shame right. shall cover thee. It said, what shall cover thee? Shame shall cover thee. Shame shall cover thee, Esau. Come on. And thou shall be cut off. And that shall be what? Cut off. Cut off, read. Forever. How long? Forever. How long? Forever. God says it's going to come a day when you ain't here no more. And we give all praise to the Most High God. That's right. 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 Nation 